Yeah, I mean, you can put them all in here. They're all there doing their thing. Love that little fireplace sticker. That can be used for so many sets. I like things like that. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Welcome to another episode. And today we are going to go over the Hagrid's Hut, an unexpected visit. I grabbed this case or this set here on uh, the 29th, the day before the March 1st release. And I got it at Walmart through the early release program or whatever. And uh, you're gonna see what I'm gonna be using in my mock from this set, but I do wanna build it first. So I'm gonna do a little uh, time-lapse here so you can see the build and uh, kind of, I'm gonna go over a few of the details and stuff like that. Cause I've seen a few of the reviews and uh, I wanted to maybe see if there's anything more that I can uh, can point out, but let's get into it. Starting off with Fang's doghouse here. It's kind of like a miniature Hagrid's hut. Pretty neat little uh, build with some fun techniques. Uh, another cool little build here is a subtle one, but that little carpet right there the burgundy and tan carpet in the corner i think that's a really nice detail however we do end up covering up that detail with hagrid's humongous recliner um still i really like that detail and i might use it on another build so i, I like that uh, however building this <laughs> roof was by far the the craziest thing it turned out so good but boy does it have lots and lots to it it's not a simple thing uh so here's a little look at it and uh let's go on to a more thorough review so we have finished the build and it's awesome uh it was a little repetitive with all the the roofing and the tiles, uh, but otherwise it was pretty good. There's some pretty interesting techniques that I could probably use. Um, even even as simple as this tree stump guy right here. I mean, even that, that could be useful. Like all these little things. I mean, I've thought about the wedges before, but not having like clips on there. And, uh, even though this is meant to clip on the side and you know you've got another one here where you can move vice versa but i actually like the idea of having a clip there to kind of represent uh more of what you can connect to the tree whether it be like a little uh, stem or or limb or or anything i think that's a good idea and so some inspiration there. I was looking into getting these kind of uh, ribbed, I don't know what to call them, uh, nulled, nulled, I, I don't know what to call them, but the ones with the stripes on them rather than the smooth ones because they look more like tree bark, but they're expensive and I might upgrade to that later, but uh, for now, that's what I'll use for that. But this is so awesome the dog house great techniques especially the walls the wall techniques there where they're basically just uh pre-built and snapped on like that love it same with these this back wall here it's all just snot This was pretty interesting because there's no wall here to stop the roof. You put in these pieces to actually stop at the right angle so you get the same kind of pitch all the way around. I like that. Turned out really good. I like how it's smooth in there too so you can kind of slide them in there and not have to worry about locking them in. And if you want, you could take this you know, apart and put you some uh you know jumpers or 
studs, whatever you want in there, and you can actually keep them put if he's gonna be moving around. And then, you know, we got the minifigures. So, for my mock, I'm actually gonna be using Hagrid. He's just gonna be a big guy. He's gonna be, you know, turned yellow, but he's gonna look awesome. So I'm gonna use him as well as Fang. I have a good dog, uh, like, piece currently. It's the Terrier, and it looks awesome, but I kinda wanted something a little bigger and menacing, and this is definitely it. This is a big, big dog, so I, I like this. I think it's gonna be great. And the biggest surprise, as far as parts that I'll be using for the uh, for the build, the the moonshine build, are these green round tiles, one by ones. I was actually gonna hold off on those because they were kind of hard to get, a little expensive, and uh, I was just gonna use regular one by one stud uh, pieces. But these guys go in a few different spots and I just left them out. I could go back and put like gray, honestly. I have tons of gray one by one uh, pieces that I could put in place of this and you wouldn't even notice unless you knew, you know, that there was supposed to be a little bit of green in there. It would just blend right in and I think that's probably what I'll do. Actually, it'll look more like what you got down here. So that's probably what I'm gonna go for. I might snatch these mushrooms. I don't know. I don't know. They're, uh, I don't have any more of these, I don't think, these the little specific mushroom cap. I've got them uh, in like purple, but uh, it's not gonna work for this. I do like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically all the pieces I'm gonna be using, but I would do, I do wanna take a look a little bit closer at Hagrid's hut itself. Oops. So as you can see, it's very, I mean, it's pretty darn, you know, it's symmetrical, but it's it's asymmetrical as far as the the patterns and stuff. Now, let's see, is this, that, yeah, all that's, it's not the same, but it's basically extremely similar. Very cool technique here where this is actually a pin holding the chimney on really cool that's how you get the different you know angles that you need there opens right up you can even see inside I don't mind the uh, you know small base plate I think that's perfect this you can pop this thing anywhere in the roof you know that was a really clever technique having all these different parts that kind of uh, just angle and lean into place. There we go, you get it pretty flush too. It's surprisingly flush. I mean, you, you can see the gaps, but you can't actually see through it. And if you take the roof off, they tell you to kind of grip these uh, nougat, or not nougat, uh, they're green, uh, there we go, uh, ingots. You can see that is a lot of complex stuff. Really cool techniques. Also using those white, like can short candlestick pieces to to kind of direct the angle of your, your plates and whatnot. And you'll see that when you're building this. It's really interesting how that works, but this is a bulky, heavy thing. So you know it's not gonna, it's not going to fall apart when you take it apart. As we take a closer look inside, you can see a lot of awesome details. Some of the details you might remember from the movie, like the uh, the mitts, those pattern mitts and the 
portrait on the wall. He's got his fireplace, his recliner, of course. Uh, and he does fit in there pretty good. Adjust the knees right back. And put his arms down. I don't think they gave you a... Uh, let's see, let's check it out. Did they give you an alternate face print? No. If they did, I kind of would have liked one of him snoozing. That would have been cool. But honestly, any of these minifigures with flesh tones, I don't, I don't care about anyways. So that's fine. I'm all about the classic yellow minifigure colors. So this is an interesting black barrel. I do like that. It's nice to have. This umbrella is in a lot of, uh, it's in a lot of the Harry Potter sets. It's, it's, it's in the Grimwald place. Uh, I can't remember the address, but it was one of those. And it actually went in a dark gray barrel, which is pretty cool to have. I do really like this little, uh, it's like a, a buffet kind of thing where you've got your shelves of supplies. We've got one of these downstairs in our house, but it's a very interesting build. I don't remember. No, that's, yeah, that's connected in there. So, but this would pop right off, which is really neat. I like how, and you'll see when you build this, how everything goes together. It's really neat. You got a little, uh, you know, shelf with your cups. I like the metal or metallic tin cups looking there. You've got your table here and what's probably the egg that old Norbit or Norbert, what is his name? Oh, well, they don't actually tell you. I think you're supposed to just know. And I don't, uh, not for sure. But you can see that there's, uh, you know, that's probably the shell that he cracked out of. Got some windows. The windows that supposedly he's supposed to be peeking in is right here and that's why I swap this over here so he can stand on there and kind of peek inside. I wonder, can he actually see? He can, that's like perfect. He can see right in there. And you can probably see him snooping. Yeah, that's right, you can see him snooping. There he is back there. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna move you out of there so we can get a better look. Seat, it's got studs on the butt, but you, you know, he doesn't have studs on his butt. He can stand on there, I guess really want to get people's attention then where were we back over here there's another shelf it's got some like yarn some radishes got keys which I'm, i think is from the that's from the film as well and also they tell you to store away this other portrait painting i guess you can swap them out um because you know you got that one there and you got extra little chairs there for a visit. So that's great. And, you know, because they're all little short people, they can't actually, you know, they have to stand in their chairs. But that's fine, I guess. That's okay, why not? Someone's gonna have to stand. And it's Ron. Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you can put them all in here. They're all there doing their thing. Love that little fireplace sticker. That can be used for so many sets. I like things like that. That's my big thing is being able to use uh, these minifigures and, and pieces for other projects. I kind of get a little bummed whenever I see a flesh colored shirt, you know, cause had they just, done what they'd done in all these which is stopped at the collar you could put you know mix this with any character any ethnicity any color and that's what makes lego you know really interesting why did i take his head off i don't know i just meant to take that off there we go i'll put him back but anyways that is that is not all of course, this bad boy opens as as in it uh, comes out like this. 
and it's held together by an awesome technique of just having one of these, you know, uh, one by two snot bricks with a, another snot brick, one of the headlight bricks, I guess. Um, you know, the back side being the female part to the male part, which holds it together perfectly. It doesn't lock, but it, I mean, it does. It holds it together, but it doesn't get permanently locked. And I like the technique of having this little rail piece that comes out the stepper. And then of course you've got the kind of like the female part of that too. And it all just fits together so that even if you twist it, it's got that reinforcement inside of there, as you can see. So that's super cool for your display, which I don't know if you, why you'd want to have it displayed like this, because now they're all apart from each other, but it's, it's really neat. I think it's probably better than the first couple attempts of Hagrid's hut. I, I don't know. Okay, you know what? You're just going to stay in there, Hagrid. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do a little review of this set just because um, I'm going to be using these sets or these parts for my build. And I actually got these at Walmart on the 29th. So I got them a couple, a day or two before the re release. So that's awesome. And uh, my birthday is actually the second tomorrow so so it's a pretty cool little gift to myself i was very very surprised to have gotten these green pieces which i'll be adding to the uh the mock and i'll be doing that on my next video which will release or you know premiere right after this one uh because i am going to brick fair in fredericksburg virginia next week which is march the 7th, I believe. Yes. The 7th through the 10th. And um, I'll have three of my mocks there on display. And uh, I'm also going to be live streaming as much as possible because thanks to you guys, I've now, I now have 50 subscribers, which I'm pretty sure that's what... Uh, enables you to have your your streaming ability so thank you all for subscribing and for liking the videos and supporting the channel uh i'm hoping to kind of show you guys more of my my mock building process um i'm still trying to figure out the best way to, to record all this stuff i've actually had a lot of progress since the last recording so I'll probably do a kind of fade of the before and after. Um, I just haven't had time to record it. And the best way that I can, you know, really get it done is if I just go ahead and build when I have the time. And it's not always ideal to be filming at those times. So that's why your next video is going to be a whole lot more progress and, uh, I think it's going to be probably one of the, the coolest videos I've posted yet because we have added a whole lot of details. And if you've watched my latest short, it's it's already lit. So the lighting's really cool and everything else is, is coming together. But I've only got a few more days. This weekend's kind of the last time I have to work on it before... It's time to go to Brick Fair. And if I can, then if I get enough, you know, I guess support, I might might go to uh, Chantilly. It's just a little bit farther away, but I think it'll be worth it if uh, from by by then I could have upgraded the that moonshine mock just a little bit more. That way we've got a really well thought out story going on. That's kind of my thing is I, I want this to, I don't want it to be random. I know it's fun to just throw in random stuff 
for builds, which is great, especially if that's what you're trying to do. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to uh, almost, I mean, tell a story, but almost uh, you could you could look at this build and learn something from it. That's kind of what I'm, I'm going for. So any opportunity that I've got to, to I guess, uh, enlighten people to, especially things that are no longer present in our culture and stuff like, uh, you know, old moonshine and stuff like that. Uh, you, you watch the TV show and everything, but you don't see it in real life. So that's one of the things that I'm trying to do. And I hope that people get a kick out of it whenever I bring it around. Uh, so if you are going to Brick Fair, Virginia, I look forward to seeing you. And I really look forward to seeing all the builds and stuff. It's going to be really fun. Uh, I think I'm going to maybe even play some of the games and stuff, sign up for a few things. So we will see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.